Hello friends and welcome to Study IQ. In this lecture, we will discuss about global care crisis. You can find the PDF of this lecture on my Facebook page and also the previous current affair lectures and the ongoing economic survey series can be also viewed from my Facebook page. And if you have any query or any doubts regarding the lectures, you can also inbox me on my Facebook. Let us start. What is global care crisis? Global care crisis means that there has been a shortage of care workers in the global world. So, this has been estimated by the International Labour Organization. According to the ILO, the world is going to face a severe shortage of care workers. And this situation is known as the global care crisis, shortage of care workers. This means that the demand for the care workers or the need for the care workers is more than the supply or what is available. And this will lead to a shortage. In this lecture, we will be analyzing who is a care worker, what is the problem, what are the solutions in order to overcome this problem and what are the reasons for this shortage. Now, quickly going to the ILO, let us see what is an ILO or International Labour Organization. It is a specialized agency of the United Nations. International Labour Organization is headquartered at Geneva, Switzerland. There are in total 187 member countries. And is India a member of ILO? Yes, India is a member of ILO. It is a founding member of ILO. And India is also a permanent member of the ILO governing body since 1922. And when we say India is a founding member of ILO, ILO was formed in the year 1919. And what are the aims or objectives of ILO? First of all, ILO aims at promoting the rights at work. Second objective is to encourage decent employment opportunities. Another objective is to enhance social protection. Fourth objective is to strengthen the dialogue on work and related issues. So we can say that International Labour Organization is the labour watchdog of United Nations. So it has estimated that it is going to be a severe shortage with regard to the care workers. And according to ILO, both good policies and doubling the investment are the solutions to overcome this problem. So, the government of respective countries must take good policies in order to encourage the care workers sector in the economy and also the investments in the care workers should be doubled in order to meet this shortage. Now, let us see who is a care worker. Care workers can be broadly divided into both paid as well as unpaid care workers. Paid care workers means those care workers who are receiving remuneration for their service. Examples of paid care workers are healthcare professionals or other professionals who are undertaking jobs where they take care of patients, aged people, challenged, vulnerable etc. So, they are getting some remuneration for the service they are rendering. And coming to unpaid care worker, they can be divided into two categories. One is direct, direct care worker and second one is indirect care worker. So, direct care worker can be also said as personal or relational care worker who undertakes personal or relational care activities. For example, a mother feeding the child or a son who takes care of the ill parents or a daughter nursing ill parents etc are examples of direct care work and coming to indirect care work it is cooking cleaning other household activities etc the jobs that a homemaker does so you must understand what is the difference between these two and broadly we can divide the care workers into two this is the basic understanding you should have and coming to the problem According to the ILO estimates, there has been a shortfall. That means there is a shortage of care workers. And this is in the paid care category. Means those who are receiving the remuneration, there has been a shortfall or shortage. This can be nurses, doctors, teachers, personal care workers, etc. And these paid care workers, they account for 11.5% of total global jobs. Which means they are a large proportion and this accounts for 380 million people. 
even though 11.5 percentage of the total global jobs are in this sector there has been a shortage and what is the reason for this shortage the population has been increasing or growing population so when we consider the pace with which the population is growing the available paid care workers are not enough in order to meet the demands of the growing population in the year 2015 according to the ilo estimates 2.1 billion sorry it is billion people were in need of care and it is estimated to be 2.3 billion by 2030 so this demand has been on the increasing side so demand for paid care workers is increasing what are the reasons for this increase in demand first one the healthcare sector has improved so modern facilities are available and because of this improvement in the healthcare sector the life expectancy has been increased so this is one reason and second reason is the difference in the socio dynamics and thirdly the concept of family has changed from the joint family system it has been moved to the nuclear family system so now nuclear families account for the highest share of world's working age population so increase in the number of nuclear families the number of nuclear families has increased and another reason is fragmentation of society so because of all these reasons people who need care or paid care is increasing especially the old age the senior citizens the senior citizens are in need of paid care because the family setup has changed the healthcare scenario has changed now better healthcare facilities are available the society has changed so because of all these reasons the need for the paid care has been increased so what can be done in order to overcome this shortage issue as ilo the international labor organization has recommended the policies of respective countries must change so policies must give preference or give importance not only really to the paid care work but also unpaid both unpaid and also the paid care work must be given importance in the policies so the policies must be able to promote social justice the workforce in the paid care sector must be ensured adequate pay the payment issues must be sorted out and there should be gender equality the unpaid care workers must also be given importance so all this must be included in the policies the government should frame policies which accommodates all this needs and second one is investment international labor organization has recommended that at least double the investment should be made in order to promote this sector so investment in this sector means that this will create new jobs and therefore the unemployment issue in the economy can be solved especially with regard to india we have a huge demographic dividend and if the paid care sector is properly managed this will create huge number of employment opportunities and the issue of unemployment can be sorted out and the third measure is correction in pay when we come to the paid care sector we will see that the nurses and the midwives constitute the biggest occupational group in the healthcare so also nursing is most feminized of the healthcare occupation according to international labor organization so what is the problem here they are paid less recently there has been many protests in kerala in the state of kerala where the nurses has conducted many protests for increasing the wages or payment so if the payment issue has been corrected there will be more people available for work and also as we said nurses and midwives are the majority and these are feminized jobs also so more number of women will come to the workforce which means there will be empowerment of women also because there has been low wages this workforce used to multiply jobs take more shifts work overtime etc so what will happen is that the quality will be endangered so the quality of the care work will be endangered and also this will affect the work life balance if the care workers are ensured adequate pay or enough payment or wages this will make more labor available in this sector so more labor available means the shortage issue can be sorted out now the unpaid care sector also needs attention the unpaid care work that must also be considered as proper work 
According to an ILO survey, International Labour Organization has conducted a survey and this survey was conducted in 64 countries. And according to the survey, each day the unpaid care work constitutes about 16.4 billion hours in the 64 countries. So, this is almost 2 billion people working 8 hours per day. So, if these people were paid, the remuneration would have been very high. These people, you must understand that they are receiving no remuneration. Just imagine 16.4 billion hours per day. If we calculate this with at least the minimum wages, this is a very big amount. Here, coming to the unpaid care work, one important thing to be noted here is that 3 by 4 of the unpaid care work is done by women and they are receiving no remuneration in return. So, what really happens is that when they have no remuneration, there is no financial independence for them. Financial independence is one important factor in empowerment and when there is financial dependence on the male, empowerment is less and if they are financially independent, they become more empowered as well. So, there is a direct correlation between empowerment and financial independence. But if the paid care work sector, if this is improved and if there is adequate supply of paid care workers, what can happen is that those who are engaged in unpaid care work, they can engage in more productive work and they can earn more income. So, if the paid care sector is developed, what are the two advantages? One is that more employment opportunities will be created and these people will be able to meet the shortage. For this to happen, the payment issue must be corrected. The paid care work must be ensured adequate payment. This can attract more people into this sector and this will create more employment opportunities and therefore the shortage can be rectified. And secondly, those who are engaged in unpaid care work, they can engage in more productive activities. So, when these people engage in more productive activities, two things happen. One is their personal empowerment and secondly, the growth of the economy. So, more productive activities will be undertaken by the workforce and therefore the growth of a, and therefore the economy will grow. In case of India, the GDP will increase. How this will happen? GDP means gross domestic product. It is the monetary value of all the final goods as well as services produced in an economy within a financial year. So, here the services are also included and care work is a service. And when we talk about GDP, one thing we must remember is that household services, that is the services of housewives, mothers, etc. These are not included in GDP because we are not able to estimate the value of this services. So, here let us assume that the paid care sector improves. What will happen? More people will take up the job in the paid care sector because they are provided adequate income or wages and this sector is well developed. So, there is also huge demand for paid care. So, because of all these factors, more people will get employed in the paid care. So, what will happen is that those who are now engaged in unpaid care, they will move into more productive activities and these people are paid also. So, this will be added to GDP. This is a service and they are getting some income. So, that value, the monetary value will add and that monetary value will be added to GDP. And those who were earlier doing unpaid care work, now they are involved in more productive activities. So, that also will be added to GDP because now they are doing some productive activities, they are earning some wages or income. So, this will also be added to GDP. So, we will see there will be an increase in the GDP of the country. GDP will increase. So, when the GDP in real terms, when a country's or an economy's GDP increases in real terms, we say it as the growth of the economy. And growth of the economy will lead to development of the economy. You can find the PDF of this lecture on my Facebook page and all the previous current affairs lectures are also available on my Facebook page. The economic survey lectures are also available on my Facebook page. Thank you.